Nixted just broke the world record for Warzone kills in a single match with 72. The question is, was this legit or not? He was actually banned before the game even finished. And since then, a lot of even professional players have come out to say that he looks like he's better than them. His new nickname is IW Formal, which if you're not up to date with the scene, Optic Formal during the Infinite Warfare season for the Optic Dynasty was absolutely dominant. He was basically the Michael Jordan or Tom Brady of Call of Duty at the time. Unstoppable and everyone will always remember him as having one of the straightest shots of all time. So in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the gameplay for how he got 72 kills. I haven't seen it yet, but I am curious to see how this happened because he is continuously saying that he is absolutely just a dominant player. Meanwhile, other people are having their reservations. Take a listen to what Hector said or repulse on his recent stream. In my opinion, like from everything that I've heard from everybody, like 95% of the, 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 the rebirth community VPNs, to be honest, right? Now, do I think he's hacking? No. Do I think he shoots straight? Yes. Yeah, like that's just... You want me to be transparent and be blunt with you? All the people calling him a hacker, I'm like, bro, come on, come on. Do I think he's VPNing? I don't know. I can't defend my boy. I cannot defend him. And this is pretty much my thought as well before watching this. I do think he probably just has a really, really good VPN. I don't know much about the guy, but he has shown up on my TikTok live feed for at least the past year now. But especially during Vondel, as I've seen every time he pops up, he has 30 plus kills in a lobby. I have over a 5KD in Warzone 2, and I had that also during Warzone 1. And 30 bombs are kind of what I shoot for to know I had a good game. So him getting 30 bombs pretty often isn't a big surprise, but the fact he was doing it every lobby i started to get a little suspicious but i didn't think too much of it i figured he would just get caught if he's cheating and if not he'll blow up and recently he blew up due to a massive game so we're gonna take a look at that now but in my personal opinion i had just been thinking this whole time this guy must have that new vpn that they talked about an excessive amount of people found some new form of vpning that's like oh dod that like bro if you see people dropping like crazy numbers like uh, on vondel it, it, it's because they there's this new crazy and it's super easy way to VPN and like it's supposed to be like insane and I, you know some you know I talk to some people and they said it's insane. You'd be fighting people who just don't have thumbs, don't have any sort of headset. They're playing on their TV in the living room. So all these quote unquote professional Warzone players would be diving in against people who just got off work. They cracked open a can of beer and they're just trying to relax and get a couple games in. Apparently this new VPN method is just like a buffed VPN. It guarantees bot lobbies every single match. Because if that wasn't the case and they're genuinely dropping 70 bombs with no issues, they need to be competing for the world series of warzone why would you let people claim biffle and tommy and aiden are better than you if you're dropping 70 bombs and they can only drop 30 it's because there's something else going on in all likelihood but today we're going to get to the bottom of at least what my opinion is and i'm going to break down some of his gameplay but first i figured i'd tune into a random live stream this is july 25th it's actually my birthday and this is what i'm doing this Content creation is a funny thing. Random 2 a.m. stream on a Tuesday morning. We're gonna tune in and see what it's looking like, and then we're gonna take a look at the world record gameplay. So the first thing I notice is he's still shadow banned. You know they don't invite hackers to the tournament. You're right, man. Obviously, bro. Like, obviously they want to invite me. I'm cheating, dude. You know, like. I mean, the the first thing that he talks about is him being a cheater. Dude, obviously someone in his chat bringing it up, but still interesting. Never actually tuned into a stream of his. The first thing I hear is a accusation on top of him playing on another account due to being shadow banned. Again, I've been shadow banned plenty of times and I don't cheat, so I don't put much weight into that, although it is a bit interesting. Dude, of course he has his homeboy up here, bro, really? I mean, just, yeah, bro. I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. I don't think he's hacking. I'm just going to say it up front. I don't think he's hacking. I, I think he has the greatest VPN on the planet. And I need to know where it's from. Because I would love this lobby. He landed back somewhere he had just died with just a pistol against two kids. And didn't get shot at once by either of them. He didn't land in a special spot or anything. He landed right in front of them. It's like he just knows that the competition of this lobby... With a VPN, you would think the lobbies are random, but it's the way he plays, he thinks everyone in this lobby is horrible. These just aren't the right kind of lobbies for a world record holder. <laughs> Dude, yeah. holy f bro, what am I playing? What are you shooting at, bro? F***ing Casper? Dog. Okay, he, what? Well, he's pissed right now, but I will say I, he's not hacking. Look, he's not, unless he toggles on only here and there. But I don't think the guy's cheating. I just think he has a method to get easier lobbies than what you see in like prime VPN days of Rebirth. I mean, look at that aim. That's It's not tremendous, right? It's nothing special. Aim assist does most of the work for you. So a lot of people who expect someone to be hacking, using the Kronos, all this stuff, in reality, they just control their recoil well. 
Jeez. I mean, look at this, man. It's amazing. Look at this guy. He punched. That guy's sitting crouched in the middle of the wide open while he hears gunshots. Okay, Punches. And... Yeah. Look, man. He hasn't had to put a plate on. He no, just bro, fought like, four yeah, dudes. Like, like, Something's up. And a good player is not going to fall for it. Even a casual player isn't going to fall for it. Like once. Look at this. He just ran up on this guy who was literally trying to pretend he's a bush like it's Fortnite. The guy either doesn't have a headset on or something. Right, Let's see what happens here. If he gets out, okay. I was going to say, if he gets out of that one, it's over. I'm done watching. Look at this dude. Are you kidding me right now? Just runs in and grabs his gun against four dudes. Why do all these new, like, TikTok streamers talk like this? Like, they, like, constantly repeat themselves, like, chat, you know, chat, should I put a, should I put a red dot chat? Chat, what do you think? Red dot chat? Chat. Another thing I notice is, watch this, look in the chat, VPN, enter. Your message wasn't posted due to conflicts with the channel's moderation settings. That, that means he set VPN to be a no-no in his chat, <laughs> meaning if you type it in, it won't show up. There's a few things about that fight that interest me. One, it shows that he, at least right now, has no sort of aimbot or anything on. Like I said, I don't think he has that. I don't think he ever did. I also don't understand why he stood here while a PA was coming in and took the most impossible fight. Like I said, he has to know these guys have no thumbs that he's playing against to take that fight. He genuinely thought he could win it, and that is not a winnable fight. I don't care who you are. Like, the, the joke about him being IW formal it like right there is perfect. IW formal's not taking that fight. Weirdest part of it is every time someone shoots back, he dies. I don't know. Like that guy didn't shoot back. Oh no, man. Something, something, something ain't right with this. Like, dude, how are you running? Now, that was nice. That second throw knife was nice. But how are you able to run up on these guys and they don't hear you something at all? Don't feel right, man. I can't explain it. I've seen enough. I don't think he's hacking. I think he has the easiest lobbies on the planet, but let's take a look at the world record game. So what I'm not looking forward to in this is the TikTok personality thing that I can already tell how this intro is going to be. It's going to be loud, yelling. He's not really going to say anything. He's just going to say the game's a banger or something like that. So crazy and full of action that even players are accusing me of cheating, especially because of what happens at the end. Whatever, Chad. I'll drop a 70 sooner or later. All right. I mean, you're talking playing, about... I'm sure we'll drop a, 60, uh, a, a PR soon, you know what I'm saying? To start your game, you're talking about dropping 70s. That's... I don't know. I don't do that. Again, I've still never met anyone in person or even, like, online, personally, that I've played with that I think is better than me. And I usually shoot for 30s. Okay, that, let's rewind on. That one is interesting. I know I bet a lot of people are going to say this one's cheating. I've done stuff like this before, so I'm not going to say cheating off the bat. But I do want to see... It's just just how quickly he decides to go from the, the last guy to the guy that self-revived here. I, I got to be honest. Nice, nice. We did it. We did it. That's rough. That's a rough start. I, again, I don't call hacks usually, and I don't, like I said, I don't think he's hacking. We'll, we'll know by the end of this gameplay if there's hacks involved, trust me. What I can say is it's really, that, that's a rough start for all the people who do think he's hacking to see that clip. I mean, there's, <laughs> that's a pretty sus clip, but I, I don't think that, you know, that proves anything, any kind of hacking going on. Again, just good aim here, you know, bad players. I, I, sorry if you're watching this video and you're in the kill feed, but these guys, man, they're, they don't know what they're doing on this game. And, you know, he claims to be a pro. It's in his bios and things like that. So, uh, quote unquote, pro trying his hardest on stream versus, uh, you know, a bunch of really, really bad kids. I'm not surprised the 70 bomb happened. If you give me this lobby, I'm pretty sure I could do the same thing. He's basically going to do a glitch where he has a super jump all, all game. So he pretty much has a jet pack. He's landing on people. You know, I... Besides that first kill, and look, he has zero fall damage. <laughs> like, super cheesy, so... Is he cheating? Yeah, absolutely with this. But this is an exploit, so you can't really put too much weight into that. Super jump glitch. Oh, you're right, you're right. Thanks for reminding me. I totally forgot about that shit, bro. Oh my god, it's perfect timing. You're right, you're right. Good idea. What the hell? Remaining. Good idea, bro. Enemy soldier incoming. Like, even knowing how to do this is kind of crazy, because I have no clue. Again, aim there, slow it down, pixel by pixel, frame by frame. I I did it right. Nothing sus there. Yeah, we did it, we did it. W, 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 W. 
Nothing starts with the aim, but this on the other hand, I mean, come on, bro. You're just chanting, you're just saying WWWW like you're reading off an old school domain name. While you're cheating, while you're exploiting for a quote unquote, so I, if, if there was a, a legitimate leaderboard that kept track of these world records, this would be disqualified. I personally competed a little bit for uh, Call of Duty Zombies world records. I had a world record before on one of the custom maps. Um, and they had a website called, it was called zombiesworldrecords.com. I got on there and if you did any kind of glitching or anything like that, after they reviewed your video, they would decline it to be the world record or to qualify. So this right here wouldn't count as a world record, but you know, we don't have an actual committee or even a team of people trying to be the committee. But this is shameless. I almost feel like I've seen enough. Jeez, that's a, that's a, that's a good looking, good looking beam there. He is so shameless. I don't blame him. But you can't call this world record. No fall damage is insane to have on Vondel, especially. Doing the, I mean, like I said, shameless, which again, it's fine. It's a public match. It's not a big deal, but the amount of publicity and, and things like that that he's getting out of it is definitely interesting. He, he should have zero. I mean, look at this. This is where all the kills are coming from. It's just from super jumping. Uh, so he should have no issue with people being on his neck and calling him a cheater. I mean, if you're gonna say this is a world record, then we gotta accept it. Shameless man, shameless stuff here. Is this still a thing? What are you talking about? What are you doing in the lobby? You're super jumping around the map everywhere. Every different spot on the map. Look at you, you just got out of a fight. Like, like. I, I'm not, I don't want to come off as, as like a hater in any way, but this guy, he's like, what am I doing to this lobby? Look at that. That's another, so many situations where he would have died here in a normal game. He gets out of it due to a super chump glitch. This is not a world record. Nothing against this guy, but this is not a world record. And if he keeps claiming it is one, then yeah, he deserves to have people on his neck. I mean, this is just, I, I've, it, I, I'd rather he just has aimbot. Like, to be honest, at this point, this super jump is nuts. I haven't played very much since the collaboration with the boys being in and the superpowers and all that, but I do know the super jump is insane. But this right here, this is different. Plus these guys, like I said, they don't know what they're doing. He just, look, look it, I, I don't know. I, I don't doubt he's good. I do think he's good. It's hard to find the right words here. Cause again, I'm not here to like, you know, rain on his parade or anything, but to hear how cocky he's being while cheating, is bothering me. And again, when I say cheating, I don't mean aimbot. I don't, again, I, there's been plenty of proof in this clip that if he has aimbot, it's not working or it's doing a great job of hiding itself. But right there, he even missed like four or five shots. You know, there, that was pretty sticky aimbot, but you know, again, nothing that I don't think I could do. I'm pretty sure I would have killed the guy the same way there as he did. So I can't say anything, you know, is too suspect there. But you can see he's running in the middle of the map, his UAV's up. He has zero incentive to play smart. He has zero reason to worry about opposing players because he can just fly, literally fly around the map. So he, I mean, no skill really is involved here outside of shooting your gun straight, but when the opponents aren't shooting back, like look at that, that's another one. He super jumps out of the line of sight. Oh man, this is rough to watch. I really don't like this. It, it's like, it's making me feel slimy. Just seeing that this is, in his opinion, considered a legitimate world record like if i drop 72 doing the super jump glitch there is not a chance in hell i would tweet or post a tiktok or youtube video i set the world record not a chance uh, and if i did i would make sure you guys understood that it was nothing special look at this the guy's up there not sh i mean come on bro the guy landed up there and didn't shoot eh, let's just listen to what he's saying right now what are you, what are you doing Oh God! Again, just just players not shooting back. His teammate just died right in front of him. He doesn't think to look up or. I'm not gonna touch chat. I'm just gonna lock in. Okay. Sound good, 
Oh, I did not want to do that. No, 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 no. I don't want to go that way. No, 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 no. All right. It's time to be honest here. I know. And as you can see, he's playing on another account. He can't even... He's, it's not even the same. Yeah, it's, This is like the fourth account in one day of me knowing this guy. And I've seen him play on like four different accounts. Um, just to evade bans for doing things like this. It's interesting. Uh, but, but it's time to, again, should have died there. Super jump. Cheese. I wouldn't be commenting on this, especially in this negative of a manner, um, if he wasn't, you know bragging and claiming he has the world record here and then he starts talking about slamming kids on land so i have to be honest right i'd be doing you guys a disservice if i wasn't i hate to have any negative words but i've said plenty already this guy would get demolished uh on a land environment if you've been watching me i mean look at this he as soon as he gets aimed at he just jumps what do you, what is what is the other guy supposed to do the people shooting at him what are they supposed to do and they're not even shooting i mean look at that dude oh man it's rough it's rough because these guys just don't stand a chance because it is a really good uh call of duty player on top of the cheese that he's doing with the jump glitch but again on top of the fact that this is probably like a 0.4 average kd lobby like these guys in this lobby are not posing any sort of a threat so it's very easy for him here free kill whoa what the hell was that i bet people are breaking this one down huh that one was weird Wait a minute now. Like I said, I don't call hacks. But I am curious. How did he recenter so quick? He misses him and then perfectly. And then it goes right back to the other. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. But here, here's what I'll say um, this guy ha would have no chance. No chance in the World Series of Warzone. I'm talking about Kentucky Fried slammed he has he has no you know awareness uh as far as how the map works he just runs around and super jumps um and he you know i've seen his clips before um didn't really know who he was but i had seen it he popped up on my tiktok live like a billion times at least from this gameplay and like i said maybe he just has such a good vpn that he knows his lobbies are body every every single lobby or maybe it's the super jump glitch i don't know but his map awareness is horrible it's it's just bad he doesn't, he, look at the, I mean, this is, okay, this is fine, but he doesn't make smart decisions, but look, he gets out of him with the super jump cheese, lands on an AFK guy, I don't know, man, I don't know, next to, when Hector asked if you want a captain spot for a last chance qualifier for the World Series of Warzone, you better, you better tell him yes, last I checked, you didn't respond, you better tell this guy yes, you, if you're dropping, frustrating to watch, give me this VPN and I will set world records. PR match, PR, PR, PR. But again, as far as aim goes, only the one clip was sus at all. And if you break down enough gameplay from anyone, especially in a game where they have 70 plus kills, you're going to find something that looks sus. That also was a little sus if you slow it down. But like I said, I if, if it's something that I believe I've personally done in a game like this right here, I feel like I probably would have killed that guy, to be honest. I feel like he had enough of a chance there. Um, so I can't call someone a hacker if they're doing something I think I can do. See, let's see how he gets these last nine. I'm going to sit back. I'm just going to try and watch um, and not say much. Um, my opinion was made before. Again, good gunny. My opinion was made before the video, um, and it hasn't changed since. It's the only thing that changed is this right here, this super jump stuff. This is just so stupid. Like, they don't know what to do. I mean, there he goes again. Uh, it's to his left. Let's see what these guys on the left do. I, I'm honestly willing to bet they don't get a single bullet off. They don't even look in his direction. And he just killed their teammate, most likely. Neither of them looked at this guy. The one got up to his left, and he didn't even listen to the footsteps. I'm telling you, man, his awareness is not there to be dropping 70 bombs. These lobbies are so incredibly easy. For him to be claiming he is as special as he is. Look at these guys not turning. Look at this guy. They're not looking at him. It's so bad that none of these kids are knocked. That's actually so bad. 
No, dude, the only thing that's bad, look at, I mean, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Let's, let's tell it like it is here. Let's be honest. Stop calling it a world record. Oh my gosh, it's just. So what, is he about to get banned then? I, I, as far as, he made a sound in the intro, sound like he's getting banned right here. And rightfully so, for the uh, the exploit. But that means he got someone else's. Was that guy inside? I don't think he was, but if he was, that's crazy. This is crazy. Moving here. This is crazy. <laughs> no, I got shadowed. Yeah, you're done you for, buddy. Me? Bro, that was minimum 75, chat. And that's just how it ends. No real content. So that's where I get a little bit interested too. So where would people get incentive to cheat big enough to get a 72 piece? If, and I'm playing devil's advocate for it, let's just say he is cheating. This is why. This would be why he would cheat, even though he's already got a big following. Um, to get easy YouTube content. Because again, like I said, he doesn't seem to care about YouTube. Um, I mean, he hasn't even posted, you know, he posted one video in three months. And as you can see, world record movement, MP5. Um, so he's very dependent on just, just good titles, pretty much. And again, this is fine. There's nothing wrong with any of this. But what I'm getting at is that would be an incentive to cheat. However, I don't think he's cheating. But that was just me playing devil's advocate on it. So that was my live reaction. That was my first time ever watching this guy play. And what I will say is he is very, um, he's he's a character. He, uh, <laughs> going, going the, uh, the route of doing an extreme exploit like the one he did while clearly VPNing, yet claiming he's not VPNing and claiming he's one of the best in the world and all this stuff. Stuff. It's definitely interesting and all the backlash he's receiving shouldn't be surprising to him now The other rumors and conspiracies with him like view botting and buying followers and all that. I'm not gonna go down that road I will say he just has a very interesting uh, uh, Storyline going for him that being said. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed My name is Ben and I will see you guys in the next video Just waiting on that modern warfare 3 We need it so bad because I know you guys want the tips videos from me and trust me They will be coming one or two of them every single day once modern warfare 3 comes out But for now, I'm still working on some other things that'll be out soon so thanks for your understanding and your support during this time the dead season of call of duty if you will i will see you guys soon enjoy your day